Hello, welcome to the screencast Open Telemetry Based Distributed Tracing for WSO2 API Manager. I am Senduran, an Associate Technical Lead at WSO2. Distributed tracing is one of the three pillars of observability. With distributed tracing, we can observe requests that go through multiple services. When it comes to WSO2 API Manager, we use tracing to observe API invocation paths in order to identify possible bottlenecks and troubleshoot or debug them later. In API Manager, handlers get engaged during API invocations, so we publish spans for handlers. Open Telemetry is a vendor neutral specification for instrumentation. It is a combination of open tracing and open sensors. WSO2 API Manager supported open tracing in its previous versions. Open tracing has been deprecated in order to have backward compatibility with custom traces you might have written, and our internal implementations have been replaced with Open Telemetry. Open Telemetry Protocol, or TLP, is supported by most APMs like Elastic and New Relic, so we don't have to rewrite any vendor specific publishers. WSO2 API Manager supports publishing tracing data using Open Telemetry in multiple ways. Those are Jaeger, Zipkin, Log, OTLP, and Custom Tracer. When it comes to Jaeger and Zipkin, you maintain your own Jaeger or Zipkin deployment, configure the host and port in API Manager's deployment tunnel, and get the tracers published to your own deployment. OTLP Tracer is a new addition. In this, you can publish tracing data to APMs that support OTLP, like Elastic or New Relic. Most APMs have added support for OTLP. You need to obtain something like an API key from the APM, point to the APM's URL, and WSO2 API Manager can publish to that APM. In the log tracer, instead of visualizing the spans, you get the information related to tracers in logs. With the custom tracer, you can publish traces to anything other than the previously mentioned ways. For example, putting span information to a database table. You can write a custom tracer by implementing two interfaces, the span exporter and the APIM open telemetry. The log tracer has been actually implemented as a custom tracer, where we log span information in JSON format using a standard logging framework. Now, let's see a demonstration. We are going to publish tracers using the OTLP tracer to Elastic. This is how I have configured the URL and the API key obtained from Elastic. I have started an instance of the API manager and I have already published a sample API. Let's go to tryout, obtain a test key and invoke a resource of our API. The API has returned a response. Now we'll go to Elastic and see our trace. If we go to Observability APM, we can see API Gateway, which is our service name. Let's click on that, go to Transactions, and click on this particular transaction. At the bottom of the page, we can find the spans reported by the API Manager. We hope you enjoyed the screencast. Stay tuned with WSO2 for more content like this. Thank you.